case report of a closed duodenal duplication cyst involving the major duodenal papilla versus ampullary coledococcele. 41 year old female with right upper quadrant pain for 4 months. CT and abdominal sonogram were suggestive of duodenal cyst. EOS was done and major papilla could not be identified. EOS aspiration of the cyst was performed, the patient improved after that. Because the cyst appeared too big to be excised endoscopically, we decided to take the patient back to OR and perform open exploration and excision of the cyst. Aspiration totally collapsed the cyst and relieved her symptoms. Two weeks later, we have scheduled her for exploratory laparotomy. We have started with a midline laparotomy and then we performed ultrasound, which revealed the duodenal cyst and the ampulla. Here we performed the Kocher maneuver. Full mobilization of the duodenum was obtained. Again, intraoperative ultrasound reveals the papilla. It is very evident how the papilla opens into the cyst. Here we can see the CBD joining the papilla. Here we perform longitudinal duodenotomy in order to expose the cyst. The cyst is then extracted from the duodenum through the duodenotomy incision. It measures almost 10 cm in its longest dimension. No obvious communication between the cyst and the true duodenal lumen could be seen at this time. A lacrimal probe was then introduced through an orifice in the cyst that appeared to be the previous puncture site. The probe was going into the cyst, but we could not cannulate any of the pancreatic duct or biliary duct from here. Intraoperative ultrasound of the cyst revealed the probe inside the cyst cavity, but not in the CBD or in the pancreatic duct. The cyst was then opened with bovi. The content of the cyst was consistent with bile, which could not be seen exteriorizing into the duodenum prior to opening of the cyst. Further dissection of the cyst revealed the major papilla opening into the cyst. Now the major papilla could be cannulated and the lacrimal probe was introduced in the pancreatic and common bile duct without difficulty. Here we can see the probe introduced through what we thought it was the previous EUS punctured orifice. We have then proceeded to excise the cyst with bovi with care to avoid injury to the major papilla. The cyst was resected at its base. It had a 2 cm diameter base that contained the major papilla inside. Then we oversawed the edges of the cut cyst with running 3-0 vicryl to achieve hemostasis. We felt that the orifice was open enough that we did not need to do a sphincteroplasty. The duodenotomy was then closed with running 3-0 vicryl. Type 3 coledocal cyst or coledococcele is the rarest form and accounts for 5% of all bile duct cysts. These cysts are located within the duodenal wall and the mucosal histology further differentiates them into coledococcele and duodenal duplication cysts. The challenge in their approach 
it's related to the proximity with the ampulla and the impact on the pancreatic or biliary drainage. To date, there is only one case described of a closed toledococcele when the ampulla opens within the cyst cavity and the biliopancreatic drainage in the odenum is provided via the Santorini duct. Our patient had a quite similar anatomy. This video presents the surgical procedure performed for a 41-year-old woman diagnosed with a duodenal cyst that was obstructing the lumen. The cyst was temporarily decompressed by endoscopic ultrasound guided aspiration. Patient underwent later for open transduodenal cystectomy with internal marsupialization along with cholecystectomy. Intraoperatively, the major papilla was found to be located within the cavity and appeared to drain into the cyst. No other communication between the cyst and the duodenal lumen was found. It appeared that the drainage was provided via a dorsal accessory duct. The pathology was consistent with duodenal duplication cyst. She had an uncomplicated postoperative course. The late presentation in early 40s and the absence of the pancreatitis and biliary obstruction makes this case particularly interesting. This strange anatomical configuration when the major papilla opens into a closed ampullary diverticulum requires the presence of a patent Santorini duct in order to drain the biliary and the pancreatic secretions into the duodenum. It appears to be the second case of this type presented so far in the literature. The goal of the surgical approach was to resect the cyst and to establish a patent biliopancreatic drainage into the odenum.